Good evening and welcome. There's so much to be enthused about going into tonight's contest here at the home of Manchester City. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Starting 11 for Manchester City. Everson is the goalkeeper. Mateo Kovacic starts with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Madrid side, Nacho Fernandez plays with Antonio Hudiga in central defence, and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Promising sequence. Diaz. The ball with Luka Modric. Modric. Mendy. Diaz. And on to Bellingham. Putting his body on the line. Haaland. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. De Bruyne. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? And given away. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, real chance for him. Well, he attacked it so well and made good contact, but he just couldn't keep it down, could he?
And what can they do to stop him running at them? Diaz. Straight offside, but only just. They've regained possession. De Bruyne. Holland. And players waiting in the centre. Can he take advantage? No way through. And City get the throw in. And taking it away. Pace for Real out wide. And teammates to play it to. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Into the box it goes. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And Bellingham. Diaz. Brilliantly blocked. Gvardiol. He's in control of the situation. What a shocking pass, really. And giving the ball away. Can he do it? Able to close down the shot. Just the challenge that was required. Bellingham. Diaz. And on to Bellingham. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Nunes. Really good interception. Modric. Mateo Kovacic. City couldn't keep the ball. Lucas Vasquez. Valverde. Promising looking ball. Holland. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Federico Valverde. And Bellingham. Here's Modric. Disappointing pass. Holland, Gvardiol. Now Holland. Ruben Dias. Effective challenge. Diaz. Now Jose Lu. Played into the box. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Being pressed hard. 
Could play it in. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions of the defence in the first half. Difficult to contain, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Doku. Alvarez. Well, they keep passing away. De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball can they do something positive on the counter attack they need to get bodies back this could level it well really making the goalkeeper's life simple that should be hit in the back of the net that was a big big chance And in by Luka Modric. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Modric. Opportunity missed. Guardiol. Well read to win possession back. And would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Jude Bellingham. Lucas Vasquez. Well, they get themselves level here. No way through. De Bruyne. 30 minutes left for play. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Losing possession here. Jose Lu. And he keeps going. Can he put it in? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. City unable to retain possession. Roselu and Bellingham Lucas Vasquez oh he's missed it well he'd be very disappointed with that he should be scoring from there substitution for Real Madrid Yes. 
Jude Bellingham moving the ball forward with purpose and that was simply miles off target well I think he's right to go for power but he's made the wrong connection and it's really poor technique in the end a change in the offing for City Kevin De Bruyne, Guardiol, De Bruyne now, Silva, Alvarez, they've given it away, Modric, and into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Intense pressure. Gvardiol. Could be a chance to break here. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish. But that shows how dangerous they are on the break. Lucas Vasquez. Valverde. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Vinicius Jr. This could square the game. Nicely blocked. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Cross with the corner. High-class defending right on the goal line. Vinicius Junior. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. They had to react and did. Rodrigo. Real Madrid attacking and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. Oh, he saved it well. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. Vinicius Jr. Well, great read there to intercept. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Alvarez. And intercepted it. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester City will carry a lead with them into the second leg of this tie. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, Erling Haaland performing in line with our general expectations, I think it's fair to say. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.